Haha, <laughs> education is for losers! Haha. <laughs> Welcome back to the stream, everybody. Hope you're all having a fantastic Wednesday and a very nice week. You know, whatever day it is for you right now. And uh, yeah, so here we are, new week. Uh, last week we started Kindergarten 2 uh, after doing Kindergarten 1. We had a good time with it. Uh, however, Kindergarten 2 is not a two and a half stream game, so we don't have to do a Kindergarten 2 stream today. So, we're just going to be doing a nice chill stream with world of horror i don't know why i just suddenly got in the mood for world of horror i just want to keep trying to uh beat it over and over again unlock more content on it uh because it's it's a neat game you know even if, you know even if a bit simple it's still a neat game so let's see if we can uh, go in and try to beat another uh another set of world of horror so uh hope you all been have a good time that you have a good time chilling out here with me tonight all right okay cool cool how is everyone doing today? Wanya, wanya, wanya. Additional supply depots required. Thank you so much for the resub. It is playing, right? Yes, it is. All right. Oh, we have a continue. Let's go. Go continue this Ico run. Oh yeah, we keep we keep defaulting to Ico because <laughs> because she's a dexterity character. Oh, we're a bit fucked up, huh? Oh yeah, we need to, we need to go to um We need to go to the doctor. Or to the the nurse, I should say. Oh, oh we already took a bath. Okay. It was putting us at the starting screen, but we've already done all those types of things. All right. So, one, two, three. We've completed everything except this. Oh, God, it's school scissors. The reason I'm moaning and groaning is because... Uh, oh, wow, we have no weapons. Hold on, we need to go to our stash here. I'm moaning and groaning because we can't use dog treats again. We can throw the meat cleat. I'm moaning and groaning because uh, since uh, since our last our last uh, since this is our last mystery on the character. That means we have to do all of this with the stupid infected wound. Other than throwing, though, I actually don't see a purpose for this. Let's actually... Never mind. Get the bottle of blood, so if, like, I'm about to lose, I can just be like, ah, oh, fuck you, and just drink the blood, I guess. Clicking them to make them stop blinking. We all remember this one. This is the very first one. So. Form ritual. Check out the locker. Baseball bat. Ow. Tiny key. We don't have the tiny key. So we can throw this bat. Yay, location threat level increase. Are the school lockers the same? Yeah, they are. Gonna get the journal at some point. Look for a first aid kit. Knowledge check failure. Great, okay. There's no reason to do this, but... Yikes. So, okay. Actually, I wonder if I could throw this bottle of blood and deal a bunch of damage. Wonder. Yep, here's the uh, the bloated teacher. You've fought this guy a trillion times, and he is a pushover. 
who uh, just dies. Dead. <laughs> Easy. I mean, the sigil is best under the blackboard. Oh, we have the diary now. Okay, hold on. So we need circle, square with the little tassel. Square, tassel. Okay, yep, that's it. Right, okay. In the candles, we'll try. Aru is acting strange. No, no, she isn't. She's playing the friend cube. How dare you? He's fine. Lord Schoolmore, of course. Then we find the candles. Are you fucking serious? I have basically two of the same thing. Good grief. Storage. Computer room. This is a good opportunity to check the school's database. Look for anything that might help your investigation. Uh, or check it out. Oh, God. Minus two reason. Okay, well. I shouldn't have tried because I knew it was a knowledge check, but. Perform the ritual. What's that? Prepare for combat. All right. Am I beautiful? What happens if we throw this at you? We can't! You can throw this, though. I dealt four damage, apparently. Okay, let's throw this. I dealt three damage. That's pretty good. All right. What's our hit chance? 74. Oh, I took damage. Okay, dead. We did it. Art, knowledge, outdoorsman, folklore studies. These things don't help me in any in any capacity whatsoever. I guess I'll do a knowledge up and a perception up so that I have slightly better stats when we go into the tower. Or lies dead on the ground, slowly dissolving into nothingness. You find your friend gravely wounded but alive. You help him up. You and both of you limp away from the school as the police sirens get louder. Hey, how you doing, Rank? Uh huh. All right. Yep. The friendly dog disappeared last night. I have to find a new place to buy equipment. Oh no! It doesn't matter. We. This is the last. Why can I only see my second message in the chat log? I have no idea. I I uh I have the faintest clue. Get to fucking go around with this wound. I forgot to get the water bottle. Too late then. Fuck. God, I might sneeze. Uh oh. No sneeze happened. It went away. How's the run going? This is the end of the run we were doing last time we played the game, and it's not going great. We have nine and everything. Our doom is very, very pathetically low, which is good. So we're probably going to succeed, it's just we don't have a lot of stats, and we have three injuries. Alright. Can I click on anything in this screen? Probably not. Finally made it. You know what? I think we can go to 71 and be fine, actually. 
Access storage. Empty bottle. I don't think forest tapes necessarily help, but I'll I'll grab them anyway in case they do for some reason. Following the winding staircase, you find a metal gate that blocks your way. A cable that should be powering it is currently disconnected. The power won't slip covered in a weird moist goo. I remember this. We've done this a million times. Strength trick failure. Oh, well, I lost three stamina. I got myself to max stats, though. Following the one, you are... Someone else didn't take photos. Select the second enemy you fought. Oh, yeah, I'm going to remember that from two weeks ago. Obsessed man. Correct answer. Coincidentally, I got the correct answer. That was a guess. Select the title of the second mystery you investigated. Ward? Wrong answer. Five Doom. Doesn't matter. We have plenty of leeway for Doom. Find a switch. Hey! And should locate the door switch while avoiding the knives and glass shards. Guess he says as he remembers everything that happened since age two. No, not really. I don't really remember that. I, re I have like one memory of being an infant. And it was like one memory where I shit in my diaper. That's literally my only memory as an infant. Try to reason with her. Find the reason. She kills herself. She KYS in Minecraft. L rods. I remember this. We have to conduct ourselves. Ow! We took damage. Doesn't matter. We just tanked through everything. Yay, we won. I don't think we unlocked anything, but I suppose we'll see in a moment. It just annoys me that I always end up in this in this position where I'm just always playing the dexterity character because it just makes combat so easy. Okay. One new achievement. Okay, never mind. We got at least one achievement. No new events. Two new enemies. Really? Okay. All right. Let's uh, get a random coloration here. I'm going to close my eye. Wow, that is uh, very bright, but very well. Challenges. Test yourself with a selection of challenges. I've never done this. I don't know what's going to happen. Yep, Shiokawa. Select your challenge. I don't know what I just did. <laughs> I, I I don't know what I don't know what I just did. Okay, so old gods rule. Raises doom instead of cut right, right. Ooh, we start with a bottle of water. That's cool. That's cool. I literally don't know what we're doing. I I did not pay attention to anything. Ooh, everything is slower because I'm going through cigarette withdrawal. Book of gore. Plus three reason and stamina add a random injury, okay? Of course, trusty bottle of water. Police station, how about a cult? How about Fuck. Try this. School Nurse. Uh, we're playing the Yakuza, so let's do Illegal Den. Alright. Okay, let's go in here. Get an XP boost. Anything in storage? No, sir. See me holding the bottle. Wait, actually, no, wait, let's go get money. 
Uh, here. Oh god, we have a samurai outfit. This one's pretty. This is a cool. This is a commando jacket. I like it. Okay, we got. We have uh, money, 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 money. All right. Okay, let's go. Whoa! Brand new mystery. Two brand new mystery. I do want to shop. I don't know how this mystery goes. It only has one ending. Let's try it. Mysterious myth of Medusa metamorphosis. Everyone is talking about this weird giant jellyfish, jellyfish ambushing swimmers. Even the local biology teacher can't identify the species as more and more people end up hurt badly. You remember from reading an article that a famous marine biologist is spending his vacation in the city. Maybe you should seek help from him. Okay. Famous biologist is spending his vacation at the seaside mansion. You need to take a bus there. Sid in an area study. Investigate the school location twice. Okay. Let's prepare first. Cigarette case. Fif okay, while in inventory, 15% chance of regaining one cigarette after investigating a location. That's pretty cool. Speaking of cigarettes, let's get cigarettes. Two funds, okay. We're also a strength character here. Oh no. Okay, well, let's get a map then. I sure hope. Oh, okay, hold on. So, did we, we. We ate the cigarettes, right? Nicotine withdrawal. What? But I bought cigarettes. What happened? They disappeared from my inventory. God damn it, game. Son of a bitch game. It just deleted my shit for no reason. Fuck you. Ah, oh, whatever. Investigate the school twice. Uh, we have bad knowledge. Let's run away from the window. We failed the dexterity check. Investigate school again. You're stopped dead in your tracks by the feeling of cold metal against your back. You look over your shoulder. Recognize me? Go for his weapon! Strength check success! You whirl around and grab the man's weapon. The two of you slam to the ground as you wrestle for it until you finally manage to tear it from his fingers. You find yourself with a pistol in your hand and a thug nowhere to be seen. Well! Okay, so some scientists say certain medusas don't age, constantly growing in size. That's actually true in real life. There are jellyfish that are literally immortal because what happens is they get to a certain age state where their cells can't really uh, sustain their current form anymore. And so they go through this metabolic process where they shrink down back to a polyp. So they like they become like a baby again and then they re start regrowing from that. It's like imagine if an old person was like laying in their deathbed and then over the course of like a few days they shrank to an infant again. And then start it over. Like, there are jellyfish that do that. Which I think is pretty cool. This is a strength weapon, apparently. I don't know why it's a strength weapon, but, um... Uh, we have a gun now, ladies and gentlemen. No bullets! So we're gonna be pistol whipping with this. Alright, let's take the bus. Investigate downtown. Wow. Seeing the two chopped off heads, you can't help but wonder who's preparing your food for the past week. Wow. I don't know if I should be calling the police on myself when I have a gun. My knowledge is very bad. 
so I don't really want to do knowledge, a knowledge check. Let's, maybe we try calling the police. Charisma failure, even though I have seven charisma. Okay, that's fine. Oh, well. Taking the bus, you can't help but notice the large number of trees that have suddenly died. What could be the cause? That is very weird. After a long night without much sleep, you decide to go for a ride along the coast to clear your head. But it's hard not to think about the night they started every that started everything. Behind this same wheel, driving like hell after watching your brothers in arms get slaughtered, not doing a damn thing to save them. You are a coward, but not anymore. Finally arrived at the seaside. The water here is unnaturally cold and unwelcome. Wait a minute. But that's weird. You shouldn't be able to see the lighthouse from this side of the bay. Following a barking sound, you find yourself on a beach surrounded by rocks. Goblin seal. The xenomorph seal. It only does one stamina damage. Wow. The problem with using the guns in this game is that you immediately have ringing ears and you're just like deafened for the rest of the fucking mystery. Brace for impact. Wow, that is absurd. It has 20 hit points. What's our hit chance? 71? I'm just gonna take the damage. You'd have just been Mortar Man and had ringing ears from the outset. Hey, yo, I was watching anime. Ooh! Is it a good one or a trash one? Okay, we pistol whipped the seal to death. I was watching anime Monster. A monster anime? Don't tell me it's Monster Musume. Please, please don't let it be that. <laughs> Some of the mansions are abandoned and the roads leading to them are overgrown. You have to somehow find biologists' vacation home. Wow. Monster Musume is peak. The problem I have with Monster Musume is that when I first got into it, it then immediately exploded and I and it became like the trendy the trendy kink. <laughs> um Which uh I don't know, I guess I'm just a, a, a hipster when it comes to that, but that annoyed me. It immediately exploded into overwhelming popularity and I was like, well that's gay. That's fucking that fucking sucks. I was a degenerate before it was cool. Hey now, hey now. I always prefer the whole, the whole, the wholesome ones, where it's a, a loving couple. And if a woman happens to be a fucking monster, then that's uh, that's just good. Not a problem. Doesn't matter if she's a xenomorph as long as it's wholesome. He's got a doom up. You finally enter the right place. Inside, there are many jars with various jellyfish species, but where is the biologist himself? Am I gonna shoot this motherfucker? I think I am. Following a suspicious person, you enter an old run-down mansion room. It stinks like spoiled milk and only has two doors, one of which you came through. You can't see the strange man anywhere. Not speaking because of drawing. Not a problem. Not a problem at all. Her drawings are lovely. So. I have, uh, seven perception. Let's try searching the room. Nice! There's nothing really important here, but you think you might be able to use the one item you find. Awesome. Plus one dexterity until the end of the current mystery. Well, we, we are at the end of this mystery almost, so we're not going to drink the energy drink. But on our next mystery, we're going to drink this. 
Man, I haven't gotten a single cigarette from this thing yet. I've investigated like five locations for some shit. Find a dusty study, you find a map of the cliffside with one point clearly marked. Is this where the biologist is performing his studies? You find a heavy tome wrapped in moth-eaten black velvet in an old locked cabinet. You remove the book's wrappings. You recoil in disgust. It's bound in human flesh. Yeah, no, I'm not a spellcasting character. We're destroying this thing. You may never know what's inside the book, but that's a good thing. Doom downs are always great. Standing on the beach, you realize something. The map's coastline doesn't match the actual thing. Why is that? Can't shake the feeling that those small dock buildings hide some terrible secrets. You don't like skin bibles because you're not Anki from Fung. <laughs> the tides! The rise and fall of sea level changes the coastline. You should wait. The low tide reveals a semi-sunken cave, which corresponds with the point marked on the map. Reluctantly, you enter into the unknown. All right, boys. Investigate the partially flooded cave. The low tide reveals a semi-sunken cave. Is this the place where the biologist is running their experiment? Whatever you decide to do, you should hurry. When the high tide comes, the whole cave will be submerged underwater, potentially trapping you there. Enter cave. What? The meat beast. You explore the cave, trying not to slip and fall into the cold water. Hearing some weird noise from behind a corner, you brace yourself. Humanoid creature seems to have no skin. Its black blood courses through yellow veins, and its pale sinew and powerful muscles are visible. It screams and lunges at your direction. Waves violently crash against the rocks as the gory horror begins to circle you. Wow, minus two all. That's pretty brutal. Can I brace? No. Can I dodge? No. God damn it. My god. This is so bad. Let's shoot. Oh god, is this going to destroy my accuracy? I think it is. Oh, I have no bullets. Fuck. He has 23 hit points! Man, what's the math here? Okay, let's assume that my pistol whip hits every time. It's not going to, but let's assume for a moment it does. He has 23 hit points. That's eight. I have to hit him eight times. If I brace every round, I will lose only eight of each stat. However, if I don't brace, and I instead commit to as many attacks as possible, we can do three attacks. God damn it. I commit to three attacks every round. Assume they all hit. That's 369. 9827. So he'll die in three rounds. And in three rounds, I would then take six to every stat. So not bracing is the better move. So that's what we're going to do. First, though, we're going to drink the water. And then, we're throwing the bottle. Four damage. That's pretty good. I can't believe I just did math. This is bad. I... I need to guarantee I hit him. That's not what I wanted to do.
I need to guarantee I hit him twice every round. Oh my god, I took so much fucking damage, but could have been worse. I could have just died. It's only after the meat horror falls to the ground dead that you notice a bag farther down the cave. Inside you find a bunch of neatly folded clothes, a journal. It belongs to the famous marine biologist you were looking for. The last entry dates back to when the jellyfish attack started. The ancient tablet I've found when exploring the caves near Shiokawa has for the lack of a better word, cursed me. Can't explain this, but every other night, my skin slips off my body as if it had a mind of its own. It always returns to me in the morning. I just have to wait in the cave where the tablet was. What is happening to me? What will happen to the giant skin jellyfish without its host body? You have no idea, and hopefully you will never learn the answer yourself. Got the, we got the ending. Skin jellyfish, it's still out there. What the fuck? Well, we did get 45 experience. There's still hope. Minus doom. We got time pass and we got reason and stamina up. Okay. Loud Lighthouse gets another floor. Oh, God. I feel kind of shit for, uh... Discarding the, uh... Discarding the bottle, but... No choice. In my opinion, there was no choice. So, we are fucked up right now. We are so fucked up right now. Why can't you just bathe forever, over and over and over again? I didn't get a single cigarette in all of that shit. We have another new one. Perilous Parable of the Peculiar Painting. The problem with this one is that I don't know whether or not it phases us out to a new location. So I'm going to do one that we've done before so that I can uh, rest. Also, we get Kana here! Kana, the perfect androgynous, uh, not technical love interest. Appeals to literally everyone and is a nice person. I can't believe I have this semi auto pistol, no bullets. Wait, that, that got- so, like, the thug attacked me with the gun, but he didn't... He didn't even have bullets to shoot me with? That's fucking... That's ridiculous, but okay. We resting... We resting again... Yeah, okay, I'm above 10 in both stats, so I'm happy. Investigate Seaside twice. All right, let's do it. I almost forgot. Use the energy drink right now. Waves lazily wash upon the shore. You take a deep breath. The fresh sea air clears your head. Man, I love when a positive thing happens for once. You spot a woman on the beach and decide to get closer and ask what she is doing alone at this late hour. When the woman turns around, you stop. Her mouth is opening and shutting, gulping air. If it were natural to her. Boy woman. Reason damage. Okay, we have a high chance to hit her. Minus one reason again. It's fine. We leveled up. Let's let's go look. CQC training. Using firearms as melee weapons deals more damage. Four strength. All combat moves deal an extra point of damage. Dude, what the fuck? 
Firearms as melee weapons, though, is also really good. Oh, man. I don't know how much extra damage this is going to give, though, whereas this one is guaranteeing one extra point for everything. Like, if this is two extra damage on the gun pistol whip, then I, I, I could take this. But I just don't know if that's the case. Let's look at this. Let's, uh... I believe our semi-auto... Fuck. Can I close... Can I... I can't minimize this. Okay. I'm pretty sure our semi-auto was three damage every t attack. Let's, uh, let's, let's go for broke and try this. It still says three damage. So, uh... I guess we have to go into combat for me to find out. I hope it's a lot. I'm gonna be pissed off if it's if it didn't change at all. <laughs> That'd be really fucking annoying. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna explode Kana's eye again. By the way, every time. Oh, four damage. Five. Oh god, I should have gotten the the core strength. How much? I have 90 to hit. To make that 100. Dead. This is, this is an okay. This is an okay combat character. It's just that bracing is just inferior to dodging. That, the reason I keep going back to the dexterity character is is basically that all of the combat can be really centered around whether or not you dodge in this game, and so any character that can just dodge a lot will survive almost every combat. Whereas with bracing, you take half damage rather than just evading all damage. So that's why I always go back to the dexterity character. Um... This character isn't bad for combat, it's just that bracing is objectively inferior to dodging is all. Do I have any I know I have withdrawal. I can't I can't get out of the withdrawal though with the school nurse. Go to the Fortunately. I was trying to draw Blardly Scarborough's skull head piece, and I kept making it look sad by accident. Well, I don't know, I think they might they might be I, I think a skull might be sad. I had a 5% chance to miss, and I somehow missed right there. Kana, why did you take a jar of eels? You foolish, androgynous character. Plus two funds, minus one reason. That's cool. Let's go to the dog now. Still no goddamn cigarettes. Oh, that's a C. Oh, it's, it's either a C or... Oh, fuck. Get the flashlight. I wanted cigarettes or bullets. <laughs> Hang up immediately. Fuck you. I drew Brian with his bootleg MP3. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Hell yes. I love our stupid head cannon of it being Brian Pasternak. Donna was right, so someone tried to burn the papers. I don't know if I care about the notes. All I know is we're gonna pop her pop her eyeball open. Ooh. Okay. Okay, seems a little odd. Uh, I, uh, so I got nothing out of drinking that. Okay, that sucks.
Wow. Military exercise makes you feel safer. But are guns enough to stop the unspeakable horrors lurking out there? Where the hell is she? Needs Ikumi. Stare in disbelief. I lo lost reason. Great. Okay. Investigate. Bathroom. Bedroom. We must puncture her eyeball! God, it's disgusting. God, that is so gross. I have four reason. Hey, she's okay. Won't be winking my left eye anytime soon, but thank you for saving my life. I have still yet to get a single cigarette from this. Arcane Storm. Reason of all spells? Oh, yeah, it doesn't matter. We're not doing that. We, we don't do spells around here. Except for when I do it right now. You know what? No, we're gonna forget it instead. To gain some reason from the bath. This thing fucking sucks and hasn't done a single damn thing. Putting it away. Fuck it. Okay. Alright. Found footage, beckoning Bolton. I don't have any money, so there's no reason to not try this out. Perilous Parable of the Peculiar Painting. A damp-looking letter addressed to you arrived this morning. Mamiya Ichiro, famous painter you were once a huge fan of, has replied to a message you sent him last summer. He thanked you for the letter and invited you to his mansion. You were going to witness the creation of his true masterpiece, he wrote. Just how could you decline? Investigate. Oh, I think we started doing this one and then died on a different character. You're afraid you will never be able to remove the lingering musty smell of wetlands from your clothes. Now, where is everyone? Mansion foyer. Walking through the forest, you spot a pair of legs sticking out of a bush. Or you can do anything ever. They twitch and move. Man-eating plant, huh? 85% hit chance. I don't like those odds, so I'm gonna go... Okay. Okay, killed it. Continue your search. While walking through the empty mansion, you can hear something rustling in the bushes behind the building. Let's do it. It doesn't matter. Use your flashlight! Thunstorm forces you to find a cave in the shelter in a nearby cave. Looking around, you discover strange markings in the cave wall. Flashlight's beam reveals additional symbols hidden in the shadows. They help you interpret the spell's instructions. Drawn on the cave wall. Gain a spell. Enthrallment. For reason. Gain an additional follower. Now we have Reiko with us. Completing a mystery grants one fund. Yay, money. Crouching next to a moss-covered stone is a woman. Hello? Are you here for Ichiro-san's showcase of the newest painting? 
Ah, where are my manners? My name is, uh, Amy. And I'm a curator working for the art gallery in Shiokawa. Amy smiled. Kuro-san is somewhere in the mansion, I'm sure. I'd help you look for him, but I want to catalog these, she says, pointing at the rock. These ritualistic markings are unique to this region, I've been told. Amy continues to catalog art. Reveal yourself! Charisma check success! Hey there, says the hunter. This forest is not safe at this hour. What are you doing here? You try to ask about the danger, but they just hand you a flashlight and point you to the nearest road. Something tells you you should leave and not get on their nerves. I have two flashlights! I'll sell it later. Can I throw this later in combat? That'd be so funny. Irezumi. Items at the shop are one cheaper. Ooh. Let's do this. Wow, we have nine strength. That's pretty good. Let's get let's get ten strength. Why not? I don't even know what Irezumi means. You hear the sound of broken glass somewhere in the mansion. My knowledge is awful. Means he's zooming, like going fast. Oh! Got the zoomies. Whole building begins to shake as you enter the room. Suddenly a stone pillar bursts through the floor where you stood. Yeah, I think that... It's probably not a good idea to... Uh, let's just retreat. God, I hate re losing reason, though. There are countless paintings hung on the walls of this mansion. All of them show alien landscapes and weird humanoids dancing around in circle. You don't recognize any of them, but the technique is used is unmistakable. Ichiro-san painted these. Right. At some distance from the main building, there's an old work shed. Even though the surroundings are now overgrown, in its heyday, it must have been used to store the gardening equipment. Inside, it's really dark, and you don't have the time to search this place closely. Use your own light source. Chainsaw. No fuel. Using your flashlight, you manage to get a better look inside. In the corner, you find something really promising. Resolve. Oh... My God. Where do I get the fuel to use this? There are countless paintings hung on the walls of this mansion. Okay, let's go over here. Go, uh... That's a joke? Oh, okay. Finally, you find a key in one of the desk drawers. You head towards the private rooms, hoping to find the painter himself. And what... Wh whose dick do I have to suck to get chainsaw fuel? Like, I, I desperately want this fuel now. And I... But I have not even the vaguest clue how to get it. it like, do I have to go to the, the Seaside Hardware store? Like, surely. My god. Stay with Amy. A or Amy? <laughs> I've found you at last. You instinctively grab Amy, who almost faints at the sight of the room you both enter. Every visible surface is covered in obscene paintings and grotesque monster faces. Ichiro-san sits alone in the front of the, an empty canvas. Ichiro-san smiles when he notices you two. Ah, my biggest fan and Miss Amy are both here. He stands up and comes closer, looking at you from behind his glasses. Would you please be kind and wait in the foyer? I need Miss Amy to help me with the latest painting. She is... He's gonna kill her. Amy looks at you surprised, but doesn't say anything. 
No, I don't want I don't want him to kill her. We're gonna we're gonna stay here. Corpses are strung up on a wire. Like macabre marionettes with painted smiling rosy cheeks. No, you can't leave Amy with that creepy man, no matter how famous he is. You quickly go back to the room and gasp. Ichiro-san prepares to stab the unconscious Amy. Ichiro-san smiles and looks at, and looks at you. You can't stop my work now. The painted monster reaches out from the canvas and grabs the surprised Ichiro-san's neck. N no, th this is n not what was s supposed to happen. Oh God, are you fucking serious? Oh. Are you absolutely fucking joking? Is there no special action? You can't run. Oh no! This is bullshit, dude. Oh, this is such fucking bullshit. I am unhappy looking at this. But uh, so I die in four hits. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. I can only deal twenty damage before it kills me. And I deal more than twenty damage before. It so, it can kill me in two turns with no bracing, but what I could do is this. Let's assume I hit every single time. 4, 8, 12, 16. Even in two turns, that's only 32 damage. Maybe I get to survive with negative one? I'm pissed. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I'm fucking pissed. Wait a minute. Throw the flashlight. Okay, we got him down by three. I can't throw the chainsaw. Okay, in theory, if I hit with every single attack, I can escape without dying. This is it, guys. 4, 8, 12, 16. Can we, can we survive? We lost. Oh, do we get to try one more time? Holy shit, we do. Wow. You managed to, de to finally defeat the horrible Eldritch Being and destroy the canvas it used as a portal. Suspecting the Eldritch Being will use other canvases to return, you and Amy will both take the time to burn every painting in the mansion. Hopefully, Ichiro-san's legacy will soon be forgotten. 30 experience, minus 3 doom, reason stamina, time passes, and Reiko gave us money. Library is disabled. Uh, that I, I don't use the library, so I don't give a fuck. Take a bath, reason regain. Oh my god. So what do we get from having Amy in our party? Completing a mystery regains one reason? That's really good and important. Thanks for saving me. Miles faintly. Is that all she does? He looks around. Oops. I, I skipped through that, but I shouldn't have. No. Okay. I hope this game eventually adds like more complexity to the uh, to the uh, to the the ally mechanic. God, I already took a bath. I already took a bath, and it's fucking. <laughs> So Irezumi made all of our costs cheaper. So... I 
I feel like chainsaw fuel is not gonna cost one or two. But I could always be wrong. Beckoning bulletin. Yeah, sure. We've done this one before plenty of times. Please give me cigarettes. Well, you know what? Let's check hardware shop. Fuck. Oh, it's too co- Yeah, it's... Fuck. Deals 8 damage to Eldritch or Plant-type monster. Oh, fuck it. I don't care. I could've... I could've... I'm gonna have this chainsaw do nothing this whole fucking game. Which is annoying to think of. Uh, investigate the forest. Great. One reason? Okay, yeah, we're gonna go rest immediately. This is so much doom. But we have to do this. Because, like, my reason is just so low, I could die in one combat. I have three people following me. That's cool. Try to decipher signs. I somehow got a knowledge check success. Here's the forest note. Yep, we, we, we know. We know how this works. Help her. Luck check failure. <laughs> Favorite singer, Grand Foyer. <laughs> Ooh, do I take hit? No, no, no. That's, that's, a, that's like a minus four to reason. Check his wounds for clues. Okay. They didn't tear out his throat, but instead carved an occult symbol with something sharp. You try to remember the shape and escape before anyone arrives. Okay. That was pretty good. I like getting an 80, getting a bunch of experience. I think that's very helpful. It's just that we're dead, we're like dead in one combat where there's like a bunch of reason damage. Uh-oh. Telephone sounds and multiple voices are too loud for you to ignore. When you enter the apartment, everything turns silent. Why do I keep getting these reason battles? Fucking bullshit, bro. I have a 110% chance to hit. So, 4 a 12 60 Yeah. Save this. Pistol whip. Oh, wow. Ally attack. Ally attack is six damage, but it's like more than twice. Okay. You know, I have seven charisma. Let's calm her down. Failure. Fuck you. Fuck you, game. Fine. All right. I have 10 strength. Lift the heaviest box. Lifting the box, you feel your back cracking, but you manage to get it all over with relatively quickly. Afterwards, Father Yasugi invites you inside for a cup of hot tea and home baked cookies made by one of the parishioners. You explain your situation to him. The priest listens, letting you vent all your doubts and anxiety. Okay, getting three reason for one stamina is big. That's huge. That's huge, actually. Oh, we have core strength again. Even more damage. Um, then again, art knowledge and folklore study give us extra actions. But do we value... How much do we value even more damage in combat? over failing checks. You know what? Let's do more damage in combat. But let's give ourselves a point of knowledge so that we're above five, I think. 
Or I could give myself more reason. Oh, that's probably the... Yeah, no, that, that's, that's what I should do. That's what I should actually do. I kind of desperately need to do that, if I'm going to be honest. But hey, we deal a lot of damage now. Lost one reason immediately. Great, okay. Need Park Ranger ally? Okay. I can teach you a thing or two about magic? Fuck that. No, I don't want that. Actually, I should have gone with that because I could, um... I could have lost the spell and regained reason. Oh, that was stupid of me then. Fight your way out. What the fuck do you mean strength check failure? I have 10 strength. Fucking what? Go to the school nurse. Ew, fuck that. Oh shit, actually, wait. <laughs> yeah, basically. Jar of blood. Okay, now our strength and... Our, now our, our, stat, our health stats are uh, at parity. You like it so far, yes. How can he teach you about magic when you know, like, every card ever? Remember the note. Suffering is human. Minus five stamina. Oh my god. That's obscene. Minus one all. 81% hit chance. This might be an eldritch enemy. Let's try it. Uh, no, it was not. A, that was not an eldritch enemy. So I die in five turns. I want to see if bracing does anything in this scenario. It does not. Okay. There's a chance I miss some of these, so we have to go with only three. All right. Old God reveals, yep. What's this one? Blood Moon? All enemies get 20 power? Fucking what? Great. I love it. Okay, let's bathe. Stamina up. Man, remember when our reason was it threat was threatened and now it's our stamina? Okay, we only have one left. Found footage. Done this many, 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 many times. Okay, let's investigate the man mansion twice. Countless spoons fly out of the cupboard when a ghastly figure materializes in the middle of the room. Yet another one of these. Oh, shit. Uh, we've lost, actually. We need, we need to try this. Nothing happens, you got three of them right. Okay, 
Okay, guys, we're dead. We are absolutely fucking... Wait a minute, can I run? I'm stupid. I forgot that we can run away. I'm, I'm so stupid. I'm a, I'm a fucking retard. Ask. Hendo helmet. Holy fucking shit. Small chance of ignoring stamina damage? Holy fuck. That is so good. This is two. Okay, game, what the fuck is going on? Is this a part of the challenge? This has to be part of the challenge. I think I think the challenge that I didn't read is that we play as this character, but we can never use cigarettes. I think that must be what the, the challenge is, because I don't know why otherwise all of our stuff would disappear. Actually, we're gonna lose because we have 98 doom, so never mind. It doesn't matter. We've lost already. Oh well. Consult the map. Yay, hey, minus two reason, yay. Dream Salesman. 5, 10, 15, 20. I can't hit him five times, though. All right. Solve. Gain a level. Yakuza card. Illicit items. Perception up. Oh, God. This all sucks. This all fucking sucks. <laughs> I, think, I think it's far too late for dexterity to be useful. Sure, art knowledge, and let's get a reason up. Yeah. This road wasn't here before. Minus 2% doom. Confront the person. Nice to sit in the sun, but the sun makes me sleepier. Mm. Uh, you're producing that vitamin D. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, we actually got to the final door. The problem is that we still have 95% doom, so... We're still fucked. We are still completely fucked. But... Hey, at least we uh, almost completed the challenge. Enter lighthouse. Whoops. I don't know, enter. Yeah, we, we literally can't rest even once. Not access storage cigarette case. Yeah, no, n none of this does anything. So, I could try this challenge again and just not ever make mistakes with the cigarettes. And maybe it's doable. Chainsaw does nothing, which is really disappointing. I really hope we can get the chainsaw later. Probably requires, though, that we sacrifice Amy, though. Look, the second mystery. 
Eels. Correct answer. Light your way. We're gonna die to doom. The ultimate opportunist. Yeah, we lost. We've lost. I can't I can't kill him fast enough. He's gonna give us one doom. What's my hit rating? A hundred? You know, we've lost. It's too late. Grab the metal rods, not enough knowledge. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. That sucked. We encountered 12 new enemies, five mysteries playing the town, no new events, no new achievements. Fuck! Okay, I'm gonna close my eyes. Ooh, a, ru a rustic. A rustic piss color. Let's go to the. Let's go back to the challenges. Like I want to see what this challenge actually is. Aha! I was right. Special rule: automatically discard all cigarettes. Starts. With, okay, so he's. The challenge is that he's trying to quit smoking. Okay. Now I understand. Set difficulty to hard? I don't know what that means. Alexandria, old god's rule. Oh, it's a different old god this time. Okay. Okay. Never, ever, 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 ever try to get cigarettes. We have to deal with this withdrawal forever. And that's fine. Illegal Den, we are Yakuza. We potentially find the Illegal Den. Firm. A bottle of water. Let's take a bath. XP boost. Closet. T-Shetsu. Let's go with the T-Shetsu. Five fun. Yep. So yeah, no more cigarettes. Library notes. One spell won't hurt. Interesting. Okay. Then we sell it because fuck that. Not gonna lie. Before we start more, some more mysteries here, I'm going to have to go and take a BRB biological break for a moment here. So we will be back very soon, everyone. You know, stay tuned.
All right, I am back, everyone. So uh, let's return to uh, dying in our world of horror. Oh God! We uh, because I waited so long, it did the the did the fake jump scare. Whoops. <laughs> Already bay, let's look outside over here. I hope that dying didn't mean we lost our ending. Okay, we didn't lose the ending on the metamorphosis thing, okay. There are three endings in this one. Do something though that we know we can, um, like we know that we can go to places for it. Hey, Kana. Hana's not home, you should check later, right? Hey, that didn't cost any doom. That's cool. Yeah, we're not gonna go prepare because we get a, a, a useless cigarette box. So we're never gonna hit the prepare. So instead, let's try and find a strength weapon in either the hardware shop or the illegal den. Let's try hardware. Ooh, crowbar or shovel? Crowbar has a much higher hit rating and is much faster. I have a chance of getting money, though, from killing people with this. It's very low hit rating, though. Well, it's only 10% off, right? Fuck okay, it, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, be a bit risky. I'm gonna shovel these people to death. Investigate the school twice. Let's do it. All right. Run. Oh, I needed the holy candle. It's fine. Close the door. Walk to the door and try to close it, but something is blocking it when you look up. You get ghostly pale hand holding the door. Back off from the toilet as the door slowly opens. Girl in a tattered uniform is standing there. Her head twists unnaturally as she makes a roaring, rattling noise. Wow. Yeah. No. Fuck that. Yeah, no. Fuck that. I am not dealing with that. We'll look for some more stuff. Flashlight is always good. I only have one money though now. That's fine. We have a chance of getting funds when we kill something. Follow the weird man perception success minus two doom. Okay. Very good. Can you stop blinking, Mr. Bottle Water? Try to recruit allies, look for a warehouse job. Go for allies, okay. It didn't take long to find someone willing to join you at the bar. You explain everything you know as far as over a few drinks. Asafumi, plus, he's a ghost hunter. One damage against ghost enemy. Cool. Guess we won't have to run from those uh, ghost uh, scenarios as much. Plus two doom, yay! Okay. Forest. Tap for one green. Use your flashlight. Gain a spell. Wow! What the fuck? Fuck it. Plus one knowledge. And then this is stamina is a stamina heal that costs reason. My god. Okay. Investigate the mansion again. <gasps> Get lost in the light. Pyramid. Whoa! 
Oh god, the frostbite on my fingers. Oh god. Okay, well. Lost a bunch of reason, got a bunch of experience points, though. Let's go to the school nurse, clear the frostbite up, because I don't like having frostbite on my fingers. I think that's, uh, not good for me. You'll watch to retreat. I'm really starting to wish I'd tried to find a holy candle. <laughs> The ocean is hungry. You stopped by a person with a knife. They look incredibly sad. It wants me, but I'm afraid. Too much of a coward to do it myself. <laughs> Can you help me? Talk them out of it. No! Unable to convince the person, you close your eyes as they jump off the cliff. Well, I've taken a trillion reason damage yet again. Are you absolutely fucking joking? Are you fucking serious? I think our only way to win is to just Dodge, dodge, kick. There's like no other way for us to win this because he deals three damage every attack. So we just have to get extremely lucky many, many times in a row. We're dead. We're so fucked. Forty percent hit chance. <laughs> Fuck you, game. Oh my god. This is disgustingly difficult. It'll be at eight, though. Oh my god. Please. Please! I was so fucking close to winning. <laughs> fucking nonsense. Poor strength, reason. My god. I had to waste a level up on regaining reason. And now all the items in the store cost more. This fucking... Oh my god, this is so brutal. So brutally difficult. Okay. Fill the bottle. Gain more reason. Drink the water bottle. Man, what a fucking... Whoa. Brutally difficult game. And we're at 23% doom. <laughs> Rancid Ramen needs us to discard two items, so we'll wait on that. Eerie episode of Evolving Eels. So we get, we get Kana. Oh, wow! Received minus one damage from attacks during encounters. Is Kana a female in this universe? Yes. I wonder. Oh, wait, I wonder if Kana like changes gender based on your character's gender. Maybe that's it. I don't know. I don't actually know that. We'll investigate the seaside twice. Honestly, we need to do this to get a little bit more reason back because my God, what a fucking nonsense. Yay, I love losing more reason yet again. Oh god, bro. I love this game. 
I love the vibe. It's just so brutally difficult. Okay, we're looking at a fucking minus one stamina on a 21 hit point. I can't attack. Tw oh, I can. Okay. Um. Oh, it's weak to this weapon? Okay. Cool. Ten experience, minus one reason. Fuck you! Oh, and I got- I got funds for that. That's cool. We're gonna bust her eye open again. Charisma check success. Good. I love when my skill checks don't fail and cause me to lose more stats. Oh no, I'm cursed. Fearful. Are you fucking serious? You lose one reason at the start of each encounter? Fuck you. Fuck you. I don't know how to get rid of curses either. Closer to the door to start to check failure. Lose to reason. Yay! I love it. Uh. Not wanting to wait for an elevator, you decide to take the rarely used stairs. Suddenly trip. Uh, this guy tries to trip us, yes. Oh, look, it's a reason damage enemy. Oh, lovely. Sever. No. We run. We run from this bullshit. Fuck off. Calm her down. What? Can I have a spell that causes me to pay my stamina to regain reason? That'd be cool, but it would use up so much doom in order to try and randomly acquire it. Search the body, 10 experience, okay. Spend the whole day waiting on Kana. Help her. Plus five experience, good. Bedroom. If we go here immediately and then go to the hospital, I don't think she loses her eyeball. Ophthalmology three. When you wake up, it's already night. Trying to ask about your friend, you aren't with weird reactions as if she never existed. You rush to the operating theater, but are stopped by armed policemen! Whatever happened, the doctors must have been too late to help. Oh, fuck, that makes me upset. You're still processing the events of the previous night. Corpse eating eels that lay their eggs and eyes. Sitting before your apartment building, you watch the police fenders emptying out your neighbor's place. You wonder if you will ever hear from your friend again. Well, that's upsetting. CQC training is useless right now. We don't have a gun. Do I want knowledge or dexterity? Let's go with dexterity. And get plus four reason. Maybe we can morph ourselves into a dexterity character. Fill the bottle. Reason regain. Okay. So we lost Kana forever. Uh, that's very, very upset. I thought if that you went to her immediately and sent her to the hospital, you would immediately be able to uh, get her without her needing the eye patch. But I guess in that case, I was incorrect. Now she's uh, dead and gone. Okay. How lovely.
Wonderful. Oh god, violent vigil. This one's a pain in the ass. Huskier man is eyeing you as you take a step towards him. You can't help but notice a deep scar across his cheek. Old man's body is in the master bedroom. Go there if you want. The other side of the dark hallway, you realize this isn't the same mansion you were in. It's a familiar one, with your car outside, blood dripping down the walls, and something hurling toward you. This has to be some kind of sick joke to put you back here. Confront it! You won't be weak anymore. You're not running away again. You're not going to let yourself run away again. Not anymore. Not again. Never. Never again. For the sake of everyone you left to die, you're going to stand and fight like you always should have. Nauseating smell of a disemboweled corpse hits your nose. The thing that slaughtered your friends is here! What the fuck? Do I have to punch it to death? Okay, we okay, let's do we have to do math now. Let's say we don't brace. Let's say what we we never brace. This is oh wait, we could we could hit it up to we could potentially hit it up to four damage. Okay. So if we're dealing 4, 8, 12, 12, 24, 36, we killed in three turns. If we don't brace, then it takes 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. It takes five turns to kill us. If we do brace, we'll only take two. Then we go over here. We can only hit once. 4, 8, 12, 16, 24, 32. That's uh, six rounds. And we'll be taking only two, though. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. 5, 6, 8, 9. It'll take it nine turns. It'll take us five turns, but it'll take it nine turns. No, 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 not five. It'll take us seven turns, but it'll take it nine turns. So I think that no matter what, we should go with the one that maybe has the least chance of us taking too much damage. Um, the problem with... Oh, God. Let's try this. Let's just try to kick it to death. I missed. Okay, this is gonna be... Holy fucking shit. Losing... Chance of losing one stamina with each investigation. We have five stamina right now, but we killed the thing that killed all of our friends in our backstory. Wow. That was harrowing. Let's drink water. Eating... Get this with a letter? Here, take mine. Woman wrinkles her nose when she notices you. Where you've seen the symbol engraved on her neck beforehand. Okay, visual pamphlet. Right now it's 10 p.m. Pray over the body. Bow, bow, clap, bow. Inspect the foot. Bow, bow, clap, bow. That was correct, right? Bow, bow, clap, bow, yeah. Okay, 
explore now. Headless body. Well, I'm glad it's not a stamina damage enemy. That almost one shots it. That's pretty that's pretty strong. Great. Black hair! Okay, we can use this to make something. If we find a sewing kit, we can use that to uh, do some important stuff. Okay, the vision. 11 p.m. light up the fireplace. Oh, we failed and lost stamina. Great. <laughs> Oink versus the skinned spa goer. Yeah. <laughs> Storage room. Check wardrobe. Oh shit. I think meat cleaver is probably more efficient. Nervously scratches his scar. Okay. Plus three doom, plus ten experience. Yay. Now it's, uh, it's 12 a.m. Clap. Just all claps. He's gone, though. Why do you say Sue like Sue? How am I supposed to pronounce it? See you? Like... Or do you mean so? Like, I've said... I've said... I, I say it both ways, more or less interchangeably. Take a bath. Plus one reason. Sotomura is here. All right. How do you rate your skill with a needle and thread? I'm so so. <laughs> Good dad joke. 1 a.m. What do we do? Nothing during 1 a.m. Okay. Yay, minus two reason. Lovely. What's it again? 2 a.m.? Feed the plant in the study with blood. I'm gonna cut it down. You cut down the bloodthirsty plant. It was a good decision, right? Yakuza card... I don't know if this is going to be relevant, really. Plus one luck. <laughs> uh, I don't... Sure. Sure, and give me stamina. Kill them. Nah. I'm going to meat cleaver this old man. Check out the masks. Plus one damage against humans. Okay, let's... Oh, we don't have time. Wow. That sucks. 6, 12 is not enough damage. 4, 8, 12. You're goddamn shitting with me. Oh, 
Eight plus... Let's brace. And punch. Okay. Okay. Vigil is nearing its end. The whole mansion shakes more and more. Hold on. Okay, stalker's mask. Put the pamphlet away. Sacrifice the guest. Oh, I have no choice. Unseen force leads your hands. You reach for a knife and stab the surprised guest. Conclude the ritual. Fine. We didn't die, that's what matters. Man, it would have been nice if uh, I had gotten a medical kit to make with the sewing kit. But, uh, <laughs> we did not. We need to. Reason regain. I did a lot of punching in that in that. I don't know if uh, the meat weaver is even a solution. Maybe it is. I, think it, I guess it's the shovel's hit rating that being so low that makes it so fucking annoying. Ugh, okay. Well, let's, let's uh, go next. This requires us discarding stuff. So, let's do it. Wait, I have to check. I, I'm gonna. Okay, yeah, discard two items. Okay. Discard. Discard. Smelly meat. Hot bath. Fuck! Why did that invite doom? That doesn't make any sense. Listen to the man. Minus 5% doom, minus 3 reason. That sucks. I don't like that. I have 4 reason. Read the letters. <laughs> Staying up late investigating the current case has really increased your electricity bill. <laughs> the true horror bills. <laughs> You won't destroy my life's work. Are you for real? These enemies deal so much damage, it's unreasonable, if I'm gonna be honest. I have a 65% chance of missing. I missed everything. I literally just keep punching and kicking. It's more effective. Take a ride. I'm so fucked. There's no way I win. This is nowhere near as... The last one was at least close. This isn't even cl vaguely close. Holy moly.
If I steal his gun, I die. Oh, well, I level up. I like leveling up. Leveling up is good. I have no money. Yakuza card is useless. Perception or knowledge? We'll go with folklore and we'll get reason upgrade. Yep. Why is this game so hard? <laughs> it is a challenge run, so I guess that's that's why. Does this make me lose? Is it rounded up or down? Let's see. <gasps> rounded down. Okay. damage against human and monster enemies. Okay, we did it. Premium surge reactions cost more. Don't care. Doesn't matter. Fortunately, we discarded the bottle. Eight and eight. All right, doing this one again. things a little differently. This is not something I needed. Oh, 100% hit chance? This is 7 and 5. Just 12, right? Yeah. This is 15. This is 12. Yet again, picking is better. How did I miss? Oh. Well, that was weird. Curious statuette. Plus one knowledge when in inventory. Okay, we have eight knowledge right now, then. Get a grip. Fuck. Cult member who was bad at Shibari. I don't know if I understand. Chainsaw, no fuel, but we still have a chainsaw. Not gonna lie, guys, weapons seem fucking useless in this in this uh, iteration of this character. Where am I gonna find the fuel for the chainsaw?
Perception excel. Minus two reason plus a spell. Skin removal. And I'm gonna forget that. Bondage with ropes did him had him all fucked up. Oh. I see. Search the room. We got another flashlight. Selling it does literally nothing. Well, actually, oh, you know, I shouldn't have done that, actually, because... I could have thrown it, that, that flashlight. Okay. Are you fucking... Wait, excuse me. Okay, we just die. It doesn't matter what we do, we just die here. We just fucking die, no matter what. Man, I love it. Yeah. Man, what fucking nonsense. I want to keep trying, though. Deal. Okay, we're gonna randomize. That's a nice peachy tan dirt color. I don't know why the fuck the on them know how to do it, though. Or why Araki decided to put it in there. It's sepia. Ooh, you're right. So Haru's challenge is a one-star challenge. So I think what we learned from the last one is that uh, weapons are fucking useless on this character. Unless we decide to force him into a dexterity world. Uh, which is not impossible, because he starts with 6 or 7 dexterity. But, like, strength stuff is just useless. The weapons are bad, he's, he's literally better at just punching. Oh, we can't run from combat. That's, that's a problem, but... Oh well. Experience. Library notes. Sell it immediately. I am not fucking around with spells. Thug jacket. Bar brawl. Mafia. Ah, uh, leather, sure. Uh, and I got the fun. I got the funds, right? Yeah. Something weird in storage. Click on this so it stops blinking. Oh, we've never done this one. Restless rumors of a residential recluse. Interesting. Worrying write-up of a wordless ward. Beckoning bulletin. Contagious coma. Yeah, we. this is a nice classic one. He's Chris Redbean. <laughs> yes. So we have a bunch of funds. Unironically, let's go to the cult shop. Ew, lump of flesh. All chance of ignoring reason. Let's get the holy candle. And 
go to the dog. Flashlight's good. Now, uh, one more try. So let's want something in slot C. Map and compass. Leveling up is pretty uh, is a pretty powerful effect. So let's get allies too. Wow! Jesus! I got the whole school helping me. Charisma, perception, my oh fuck. Okay. Nice. We just got a bunch of stats from these uh, these school from these school kids helping out. You know the me, the twenty four year old thug. Uh, okay, investigate the village twice. Let's do that. So if we take the safe route, we get a doom up. If we take the quick route, I don't know what we get out of that. Let's try it. Strength check success. Very good. I guess you're in a hurry. You hiked to the hilltop, burnt out candle wax and dried blood around the shrine. Mean a new sinister cult has claimed the location. Well, we got experience and that's that's fine by me. Uh, nice nose, nose. So we can just punch for two damage a bunch. Or kick, excuse me. What's- oh, the ally attack is four damage. And I could always do this and just guarantee four damage every turn. Or I could just flail about. Let's try that. What is this? There's like an ally distraction ability you can do too, right? If failed, lose an ally randomly. Yeah, I don't wanna. Punch, pick it up, shovel, okay. Equip shovel, we have the dust of seeing as well. I'm the nose man! Light the holy candle! Minus three doom. See, I told you, lighting the can the candle is very important. Stealing the gun is very advantageous. It'll give me something I can pistol whip with, but I don't know if it'll be better. What if it's a percep if it's a perception gun? It's a perception weapon, and my perception is actually higher than my strength. And we have two bullets. Okay, cool, cool. Question is, what do I do with the fucking, uh, you know, do? I'm gonna not sell this, store it away. There we go. And we're gonna pistol whip people. Donate your blood. <laughs> God, I shouldn't be doing that. Really not advantageous. Um, one rest and investigate hospital. Uh, fondest memory. I have money now. Yay, I'm so happy to have money. Do I want to get another item? Not really. Oh god, that's fucked. Okay. Eight 
82, it's 3 damage. These might miss, though. a lot of damage, but too late. You are already there. Invite for coffee. Minus one funds, plus seven experience. Wow. Gross. Nope. Shooting is so much damage. Wow. Really? This might be... Oh, this is probably the highest damage uh, thing we can do. Okay. Excuse me. Fuck you. Oh man, am I gonna die? Oh yeah, shoot this motherfucker. Minus two all! Oh my god! Are you joking? They're all slower until end of miss- Oh god, okay, well. Throw. Five damage. It's weak to magic. I think I'm just gonna die here. My god, this is so fucking bullshit. 60% hit chance? No, I just die. I'm at one with everything. I leveled up, though. Oh, yeah, Irezumi really helps right now, yeah. Uh, sure, we'll do that. And it's a perception weapon, so we'll get more perception. I am dead. There's, like, no fucking way I survive. Storage, bottle, water, drink, go back, take a bath, water, reason up, drink the water, put the bottle away. Look at the creeps outdoors. We are so rough, roughed up right now, bro. Crazy. If I do this, I'm, it's going to kill me, and I'm not going to get any progress on that. I don't remember the ward, uh, bulletin. So we're going to do this thing called resting, and we're going to have, like, 50% doom after this. But I want both my stats above 10 Okay, good. Oh, okay. So 
So I guess, so what I've learned from that is that if we're going to shoot the gun, it needs to be the last, it needs to be the killing blow. Or else we're going to have actions that are so impossibly slow. Let's get the forest twice. Okay, let's go to the forest. Get a grip. Fuck. I could have tried another one, but too late. Pray. Perception success. Yep, we know how the forest note goes. Hold on to it for now. Reason damage, huh? Oh, damn! We can... Ooh. We be pistol whipping. Pick it up, lump of flesh. Uh, yeah. Holes? Oh god, I fucking despise that. That sucks, but it's too late. I don't have a... <laughs> Jog around the block. What the fuck do you mean strength check failure? I have a strength of eight. You absolute hogwash. Hang out together some other time, okay? Fine, Kana, I'll talk to you next time. Call the police. Doom up. Oh yeah, I needed that. No, 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 no. This this curses me. Let him come up with his own stuff. I don't want that crazy ass curse. Help the man. Dexterity success. Got experience. Not gonna lie. Observe. Doi is taking her pen apart and putting it back together. Latest gossip. How'd you do on your English exam? I am a fucking 24-year-old Yakuza person. Like, what do you mean? Ask to join you. Student A, plus one dexterity. Okay, so all of our followers are giving us stat-ups, which is really, really good. Like, really, really good. You're totally Amanome. <laughs> 4 a.m., you have stuff? That's fine, man. We're about to be done anyway. So you have a good night, my man. And we'll be done shortly anyway. Yep, see ya, uh, you know, Friday, Wednesday. Friday, Saturday. This guy is stamina damage. What's my ally attack looking like? Six damage, but it's a 50% hit rate, and it's very, very slow. That's a 60% hit rating on our, uh, our thing here. Hit him once, are you serious? Okay, well.
Level up. Leveling up a lot here. Quick thinking. Charisma. Pretty good. Folklore studies. This is dexterity. Let's do that in perception. Yeah. 11 perception seems very good. Enter the portal! I get frostbite if I go... I'll get experience, though, or something, right? Or do I get... I always forget, do I get experience or do I get a spell? Let's go to the coast. For so Are you fucking serious? I have 11 perception and I failed the perception check? What absolute Gobshiting fuckery. Oh god, I hate that. What absolute gobshiting nonsense. I'll take the wine, yeah. I'll, yeah, I'll use this. I'll use this wine when I'm really running low on on sanity. I don't think I can get more allies past f three or four, right? I could be wrong, though. Maybe I can have as many allies as I want. I don't know. Let's say yes to this. Holy shit. We literally just got two allies. We got seven doom off that, so we're kind of fucked. But we just got two more allies. Maria and Iwa. Plus one cigarette for each defeated enemy. <laughs> Whoa! Plus two strength. I'm the best. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> I have a fucking raid group following me. There, this is a group of seven people following me. Oh yeah, it's been hella overtime. Minus one all. All right. Ten damage ally attack. My perception is so high, but my hit rating is still so bad. And ironically, I think this is the best thing to do. It's a ten damage attack. We're at four. Thirty, fifteen, minus three, one day. Oh my god, more holes are spreading. Drink this. Oh my god, we have two empty bottles now. up. 
empty bottle. I have two empty bottles. Take a bath. Fill bottle. Fill... You filled one bottle already. Fuck you, that's not realistic at all. I should be able to fill both of them. Ugh, wow. This guy is haggard. You know what? Uh, that should probably be it for tonight, really. It's very, very high overtime. Um, saving and loading is temporarily disabled. Why is it disabled? When did this happen? What the fuck? Son of a bitch. Well, uh, that sucks. I guess, like, uh, the old saves, we, uh, just have to abandon this. That, uh, that's very unfortunate. Yeah, that fucking sucks. Thank you all very much for joining me here tonight. I really appreciate you coming here and hanging out with me. We will be back in two days, Friday, if you live in the United States, and we're going to continue uh, Kindergarten 2. We've gotten more or less halfway through the game. Uh, we have a completed Monstermon deck, so we're going to have a lot of fun figuring out all those uh, funny uh, little stories in that game and uh, playing some card games, you know, the game within the game. And yeah, I've been having a good time with it. Hope you all have been having a good time with it as well. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I'll, I like World of Horror. I have a feeling that World of Horror might be a bit dull to watch hap play on be played on repeat because it, it's it's such, like, a visual... It's, like, a visually stimulating type of game that's not very action-y or action-oriented. So it's probably a little boring, but I hopefully you'll forgive me that it's uh, not uh, too annoying. But I, I like it a lot, and we're going to do it next week as well, more than likely. I want to get those wins in so we can unlock more of the content in it. Maybe I won't do the challenges until I'm better at it, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, if you happen to be new here and you enjoyed hanging out with us tonight, if you think I deserve a follow, I'd appreciate that quite a bit. We stream three times a week for approximately two hours, and this stream will be re-uploaded to YouTube tomorrow night where we'll join every single stream I have ever done. So if there are any you want to catch up on, you can find all of them there. Link is in the About section. And uh, yeah, we went max overtime. I uh, had a good time with this. Hope you all did as well with uh, chilling out with uh, Spooks. But uh, it's time uh, it's time to say uh, goodbye for now. So thank you all very much for being here. I appreciate your support in every capacity. Hope you have a good afternoon, evening, morning, etc. I will see you all again soon with Kindergarten 2. Ciao!